Hello everyone, welcome to Motor on Beep Beep, and today, straight into it, it's George Michael. Pfft, what can you say about George Michael, a fantastic musician, he really was top of the tree, wasn't he? Uh, I mean, his looks were amazing, what a, an handsome guy, and uh, the way he sang, the, the emotions in his voice when he sang the songs, the intelligence of the songs, you know, the words, oh, shiver down your back, oh, what a guy he was. Um, so it's a small little film, it's not long, and I really did love doing this one. So I'm going to go straight over to I Get Cemetery now. I did it, it's one of, until I set off again in a, in a couple of weeks or ten days, this is um, a catch-up film from, I think it was December last year or November. So I hope you enjoy it. Hey, do you want to see where I am? Look, I'm going to, I actually filmed there the other week, and it's where I showed you around the motorhome. That's going to be in every film, but look, I'll show you where it is. I'll let the secret out of the bag. It's Raven's car. That's Robin Hood's Bay over there, look. And it's really, really quiet. Quiet. There's nobody here. Well, there is. There's one motorhome and me. It's really quiet. So now I've told you, next weekend, it'll be full. And I've ruined it. <laughs> over to George Michael. I hope you enjoy the film. See you in a minute. Bye. Well, this is a really exciting moment for me. I'm just about to go to the grave of George Michael in Highgate Cemetery in London. And it's coming up on the right. One of the biggest musicians of all time and I was an enormous fan. So this is one of the ones, well, if not the one, I really wanted to do. Here it comes, I'll spin you around so you can see at the same time. There we are. There's George Michael's final resting place. Really nice, isn't it? He didn't have a stone until, I think it was December 2021. So let's read it. Georgius Cariocus Paniotto, 25th of June 1963 to the 25th of December 2016. Beloved son, brother and friend. And this is his mother. Leslie Ann Gold Paniotto. 24th of December 1938 to the 26th of February 1997 beloved wife mother sister and friend and this is George's sister Marlene Paniotto 22nd of October 1960 to the 25th of December 2019 beloved daughter sister and friend really good moment for me this he achieved seven number ones in the UK single charts and uh, he also won two Grammy Awards and three Brit Awards he's quite a quite a career behind him didn't he and he didn't have a, a stone until December 2021 I don't think but um, it's hard to believe he's here isn't it yeah George Michael was a British pop star of the 1980s spanning a series of infectious catchy pop singles into global stardom that saw him sell over a hundred million albums worldwide. Blessed with a fine voice and a knack for writing engaging melodies that worked well with dance-friendly rhythms, Michael became a rare teen sensation who matured into a respected star and adult. Michael was born Georgios Cariocas Paniotta on the 25th of June 1963 in North London suburb of East Finchley. His father was a Greek Cypriot restaurant owner who changed his name from Cariocas to Paniotto to Jack Michael when he emerged to England in the 1950s. Michael's family relocated to Bushy, Hertfordshire where he was in his early teens and he stuck up a friendship with one of his schoolmates, Andrew Ridgely. Both Michael and Ridgely were interested in music and in 1979 they formed a ska band called The Executive. The group didn't go far, but it gave them a taste for the spotlight. So they took up what they had learned in 1981 and formed a pop duo called Wham. The early Wham demos impressed executives at Innovations and an independent record label that signed the group to the contract. By 1982, Wham had hit the UK pop charts with Wham Rap and Young Guns Go For It, and scored an American record deal with Columbia. Michael stated that his early fantasies were about women, which led him to believe that he was on a path for heterosexuality, 
but at puberty he started to have fantasies about men, which later he said had something to do with his environment. At the age of 19, Michael told Andrew Ridgely that he was bisexual. Michael also told one of his two sisters, but he was advised not to tell his parents about his sexuality. In the early hours of Christmas Day 2016, Michael died in his bed at home in Goring-on-Thames at the age of 53. He was found by his partner, Fadi Fawatz. Owing to a delay in determining the cause of death, Michael's funeral was held until the 29th of March 2017. In a private ceremony, he was buried at Highgate Cemetery, North London. On one side, his mother's grave. His sister, Melania, who died exactly three years later after him, is buried on the other side. George, thank you ever so much for all the great music. Wonderful, my friend. Got a little one there, look. Dear cousin, beautiful memories, treasured forever, of all the happiness we spent together. It's that one. There we go. Oh. Very exciting. George Michael, careless whisper, last Christmas. Wake me up before you go, go, all those sort of things. He was enormous, wasn't he? Well, he still is. He had the, he had the looks, the voice, the quality of songwriting, the emotions. Some of his uh, unplugged stuff is amazing. He was a star of stars. It's a shame he went so young, really. Thank you, George. Thank you. Thank you for all. And look, it's a lovely spot. There we are. It's a lovely spot. Little bench there to sit on. So that's a real special one, isn't it? George Michael. What can you say? A careless whisper. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, thank you everyone for watching today. And um, with George, I'm saying goodbye, George. Thank you for everything. Thank you, George, for everything. So there we go. That's a little film of a megastar. Uh, he really is, isn't he? A megastar. People will remember him fondly forever. Um, so, don't forget, we're, I'm setting off soon, so if you get any ideas of any locations and people you'd like me to go and try and find the final resting place, that'd be super. And uh, it's lovely to see you all again the other week, you know, your comments. I have missed all that. So, I'll be seeing you all very soon from a lovely place, Raven's Car. It's about halfway between Scarborough and uh, Whitby, but it's a nice quiet spot. I hope I haven't ruined it. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I've enjoyed this lovely weather. We're having a great time, aren't we? If you can get away and get out into it. Do you know, I had a meal today. I just got back here. I was tired. I ate the meal. sat outside. I went to sleep. Oh, yes, beautiful. 20 minutes later, I felt so, so revived. Superb, isn't it, when you can feel the sun and relax. So enjoy, everyone. Make your life lovely. Look after yourself. See you all soon. Bye-bye from Alan.